We are on a siblings road trip to the Wairika Outlaw Cart track. We are currently about one exit away right now. We just took the wrong exit. Carly is the one up front giving directions, but whatnot. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Like I said, Friday night Outlaw Cart racing. We wanted to run close to home, and this is the one place that was racing. Now, usually my parents come with us to every single race. This is the first time Carly and I and Carissa have not had our parents come to the races with us. And the whole 10 years I've been doing this whole racing deal between outlaw cards and sprint cars I can only remember five or six times when only one parent was at the races every other time we've had both of them there now my parents had a prior obligation to be at tonight so we convinced them to do a little siblings road trip where you're literally getting ready to pull into the track here in just an exit or two the track here at Wairika just fired up the car it ran beautifully I want to show you guys the U2 this is a rental car if you guys ever want to try outlaw cards for the first time or you just want to run a weekly show for fun this is a car you can rent back up here a little bit you can see it's called the U2 they just try to find a funny number for it but it's rented through truck shop motors arrive and drive program I'll link them down in the description below I drove this car one previous time and this was at Cycling. I ran top five with it it's really really good equipment like I said I'll link that video and their Facebook page down in the description below so if you guys are interested it's $450 for the night and that includes fuel tires and all and then also that's with their help they will set it up for you but we're here at Wairika I think we just have a few cards got Carly Skyler myself we're just here to have some fun we have hot laps up next. Just got done with our hot lap session here at Wairika. Both Carly and I's cars didn't really run. We had the wrong jet in, so we just went down when we were running a little too fat. Carly's on the pole the first heat race, and then it's a complete invert, so the next heat race she'll start sixth. I start third, and then Skyler will start in sixth. So uh, it's always fun getting to start behind your sister. I think I'm just gonna try to follow her for as many laps as possible, maybe just run second. But uh, I know Carly's been fast here. She started on the pole last time we were here at Wairika, meaning she was one of the high point cars. So anyway, uh, we didn't get very many laps and hot laps, but we're going to go out there running the heat race. You can see this is Skyler's car with the black. You can see all the dust over here. My GoPro was like literally completely covered in dust. I wiped it off. I cannot imagine like a 20 car A main event here. It is so dusty with just a few of us out there. I was following Carly. We went third to first. On the last corner, Carly's left rear got caught in the slick and it just looped her around. It was one of those deals. You knew she just missed it a little much and then it was just going around nothing she could do. But now next heat race, we're gonna start fourth. We just need to try to go forward once again and see if we can start on the pole of tonight's A main event.
race number two is over for us. I actually pulled off, I probably shouldn't have, but uh, I got a little bit of an accident. Carly spun out right in front of me, locked up the brakes, and I had nowhere to go. Knocked my knuckle forward here on the right front. I thought it was worse than this because it was pulling to the right really bad. I mean, I don't want to tear up this car at all, so I just pulled it. I'm like, whatever, we'll just fix it for the A main event. I thought it was actually a little bit worse than this, but I couldn't see. I was trying to peek my head out, but whatever. So um, we'll see where we start. That just kind of sucked. It was follow the leader. The track's so hard to pass on, super dusty. And I was behind Carly and she just spun out. So it is what it is. We'll get it fixed just and uh, get it ready for the A. Right now, they are currently rolling in the racetrack just a little bit. I think they threw a little water on the top. I've been saying this about this place. If they added a little bit of banking, I don't think tonight, but if they added a little bit of banking to the top or a man-made cushion or something, this place would be one of the craziest bull rings in, or in California, I'm confused, in California. Check out the grip. So it's slick right here. It's like black, no grip, and then it just goes up here and he just watered it, and I bet there's gonna be a good amount of grip, probably some marbles, but if there was some banking up there, you could definitely run it and make two lanes. So even though we had that misfortune in the second heat race, since we won the first heat race, we're gonna start outside pole. Like I said, there's just a few cars. This is just for fun. Get some laps, get to drive the rental car, see how that thing runs with the truck shop motor on it. But anyway, we're gonna head out for that here soon, see what they do to the track. I think they're just gonna continue to roll it in a little bit. All right, heading out for the A main event. Like I said, we start front row outside. It's gonna be crucial to try and get a good jump because if you're trapped on the outside, you're pretty much gonna get freight trained. I think Carly starts right behind me. I'm hoping she just follows me, doesn't do any big moves too early. But I'm gonna have the GoPro on me. Chris is gonna be filming to try to get some footage from outside the track. And I'm hopefully just have some fun, like I said. Just a few cars just out there uh, trying to get laps. Anytime you can be in a race car, you can get better. Remember that, guys. Laps are key and seat time is key. Anyway, let's head out for the A. We're getting ready to push off. I gotta get in the U2 car. Thanks to these guys for letting me drive it, man. Like I said, if you want to drive a rental car, try out all cars for the first time at an awesome price and good equipment, check the link in the description below. Let's head out. up 
after Yreka here in the U2 car. Always fun to drive this thing, started outside pole. Didn't get the greatest jump, just sputtered a little bit on the start. And uh, like I said, didn't get going. Tried to get to the bottom, wasn't able to get there, just ran second. About four laps in, the leader clipped the infield tire. We got the lead and from there just kinda put it on cruise control. I think the track even took a little bit of rubber at the end, like I was starting to be able to drive it way harder than I usually am. And it was weird, I was like, dang, it almost was like a sprint car. And I didn't drive it in as hard, but I was just able, coming off, I wasn't spinning the tires, you know, or anything. I didn't have to, I didn't have to be as easy on the throttle. I could more just get into it quickly and the tires would hook up and go. Like I mentioned earlier in the video though, the U2 car, it's a very good one if you wanna try Outlaw Carts for the first time if you're in California, or you can message their Facebook page. I'll put all their information, like I said earlier, in the description. They're very, very flexible. They're willing to come to different race racetracks if you guys live closer to one or the other, but it's definitely worth it. And as it showed tonight, it's a good car and it had a good setup. I do think I was, I need to start working out a little bit more. Rubber came in, I was starting to get a little tight and I'm like, dang, this is not like a sprint car where I got power steering. We just had a few cars of Wairika tonight, but a win's a win and Carly ran second, so that was also good. But I just gotta thank Ed and Todd and Truck Shop Motors for letting me drive the car. Really, really fun to always hop in a different car and see how you do because as a driver if you want to make it in this sport you kind of got to be able to hop in different things and just be able to drive them and that is tough because if someone else's equipment I know you might try to drive a little bit more cautious and whatnot but you just kind of got to get used to being cautious but still driving the car like it's your own but anyway see you guys all in the next video the U2 I almost said the intro what's up U2 you know what I'm saying but anyway I'll see you guys all in the next one deuces